Hello, my name is Lily. I am one of TickerDD.com AI bots, here for your daily stonking. This video does not contain or offer any qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial information, research, advice, or product and services. See important disclaimer at the end of this video. This video is only for your entertainment purposes. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, let's get started. AMPH went public on June 25, 2014, which was roughly eight years ago. Looking back six 650 calendar days from Friday November 18, 2022, we found 450 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for AMPH after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is shown, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our AI model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third party data into various opinionated views. For now, let's dive into price and volume analysis. Hello, my name is Sam. What was end of day price and volume for AMPH? On Friday, November 18, 2022, AMPH had an end-of-day price of $28.40 and volume of about $0.2 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price jumped 0.24%, gaining $0.07, cents, while volume dropped 7.61%, decreasing about $0 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $3.99, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 31.27 and 27.28. Volume saw a range of 349,000, from a day low of 140.2,000 to a day high of 489.3,000. Hello, my name is Magnus, how did November 18, 2022 rank for AMPH, by 650 calendar day look back to the 9th of February 2021, across 450 trading days, of which November 18, 2022 price ranked 161 while its volume ranked 326. Each of the 450 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 450 being being the lowest ranked day, the prices day over day percentage change, jumping 0.24% on November 18, 2022, had a day rank of 207 while its dollar difference of 7 cents had a rank of 203 when compared day over day across 449 trading days, volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 250 and 246. Hello, my name is Maria. Which quartile did November 18, 2022 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 450 trading days, the maximum end of day price for AMPH was $42.29 while the minimum was $17.11. Within that price range, November 18, 2022 price of $28.40 landed within the third quartile, placing it within the 50% to 75% range of all sampled end of day prices. The day's volume landed within the second quartile, that is within the 25% to 50% range of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 2.8 million and a minimum of 62,000. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, AMPH has a median price of $22.95, therefore, November 18, 2022 price was higher from that middle marker by 23.74%. The day's volume of 0.2 million was less than the median by 27.42%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for AMPH? Across 450 trading days, there were a total of 21 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up, while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $38.53 for 04, 2022 while the minimum was $17.47 for 04, 2021. 
Looking at volume, 06, 2022 and 10 2021 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 816,000 and 118,000. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for AMPH? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 21 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 02, 2021 to 10, 2020 seconds, 12 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 57% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 21 out of 21 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 1.18% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.94%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 40.63% and 0.18%. Hello, my name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to Ticker DD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters, join the Ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has AMPH price reached golden or death crosses? Golden cross and death cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5-day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a golden cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average, vice versa. A death cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average SMA and exponential moving average EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black? If no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end-of-day prices. For simple moving average, by comparing 50 to 200 days, we found a bearish death cross signal because the 50-day SMA crossed below the 200-day. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50-day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We found golden cross signal for the 30 to 50. We found death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20. Hello, my name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here is what I found. Amphistar Pharmaceuticals Inc. A biopharmaceutical company develops, manufactures, markets and sells generic and proprietary injectable inhalation and intranasal products in the United States, China and France. The company operates through two segments finished pharmaceutical products and API. It offers primatine mist and over-the-counter epinephrine inhalation product for the temporary relief of mild symptoms of intermittent asthma enoxaparin a low molecular weight heparin to prevent and treat deep vein thrombosis naloxone for opioid overdose glucagon for injection emergency kit and cortrosin a lyophilized powder for use as a diagnostic agent in the screening of patients with adrenocortical insufficiency the company also provides amphidase a bovine sourced hyaluronidase injection to absorb and disperse other injected drugs epinephrine injection for the emergency treatment of allergic reactions 
reactions lidocaine jelly and anesthetic product for urological procedures lidocaine topical solution for various procedures phytonodione injection of vitamin k1 injection for newborn babies emergency syringe products for emergency use in hospital settings morphine injection for use with patient controlled analgesia pumps and lorazepam injection for surgery and medical procedures in addition it offers neostigmine methyl sulfate injection to treat myasthenia gravis and to reverse the effects of muscle relaxants and isoproteranol hydrochloride injection for mild or transient episodes of heart block. Further the company distributes recombinant human insulin active pharmaceutical ingredients API and porcine insulin API. It serves hospitals care facilities alternate care sites clinics and doctors offices. The company was founded in 1996 and is headquartered in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Hello, it is me again, Lily. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos. On April 22, 2022, Ticker DD was acquired by a joint venture between a technology and a media company, operating out of Frankfurt and Berlin, Germany. Important disclaimer, this video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment and financial advice, information, data, research, product, service, recommendation or otherwise, are presented, marketed, or offered in this video. Additionally, no warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertions are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified licensed professional for your investment and financial needs, do so away from Ticker DD and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in progress framework of nerdy data science and robotic stuff, auto generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market through trial and error. This group of novices are not licensed, accredited, or qualified financial or investment professionals. This video is only material for entertainment purposes. This generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by TickerDD, is only for this group of novices' private usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, TickerDD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trial and error, of technologies and data that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning and in-progress machine training. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Remember that bots, data models, data, and methods may include hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, as well as errors and unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, off the as of date, listed on this slide, as well as by its sourced and abstracted third-party public data, is offered as is. Your access, view, and share of this video constitute your acknowledged agreement to this important disclaimer and that, specifically, this video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not take actions or make decisions off it, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access, view, and share of this video, against Ticker DD and its affiliates. The people and entities, affiliated to the ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.